Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Anderson and welcome to the Fort Report. Summer is here in Fort Worth while Forest Park and Marine Park Pool opened on Memorial Day weekend. Swimming pools are so much fun, but we must not forget that Texas leads the nation in pool drownings. The majority of our pool drownings are in our young children who don't know how to swim. Unfortunately, there's a lack of parental supervision around the pool, and it's very important if a child was to fall into water that they would be able to get themselves out, or at least be able to float and yell for help. Fort Worth Drowning Prevention Coalition holds eight 30-minute classes around the city to teach children and adults how to be safe in and around water. We've already had a week of classes in which they've become comfortable in the water and they've learned to go from a stomach float and flip over to their back so that if they were to fall into water, then they could cry out for help. And, uh, and this week now we're focusing on treading water and safely navigating 10 yards. And also would they, if they fell away from the edge of the pool, could they safely get themselves back to the side of the pool? So the lessons are designed totally around self-rescue. While the kids are in the pool, we take the parents off to another area and we've got various instructors that teach the parents about how to actually supervise your children, how to do CPR. We've had uh, parents that have had a child that they lost from a drowning. We had a parent come talk to them that had a near drowning episode. I'm trying to give them as many tools to utilize to make sure that themselves and their children and loved ones stay safe. Two seconds is too long to turn your back on a child in water. Our mantra this year has become uh, yell, go tell. If you see someone in a swimming pool, yell, go tell. So it's important for parents to train their children to yell, go tell. It is imperative that parents learn CPR. That is the difference between life and death. We want everybody to understand that if you see somebody in trouble, Unless you have been specifically trained in how to rescue someone that is drowning, for kids we tell them we want them to yell, go tell. And if it's an adult, we, we want the adults to reach, throw, but don't go in after them. Fort Worth Drowning Prevention Coalition is always looking for volunteers, corporate sponsorships, donations, and grant opportunities. Visit swimsafefw.org for more information and safe swim class schedules. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth in the next few weeks. For a listing of more events and city meetings, you always can check the calendar at the city's website.